Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 258. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 252 to 260. In this trick, we want to see how to take data that is not directly next to each other called non-contiguous data and make charts. First, if you have um, some labels, for your column chart and then some data over here and they're, it's all in the same row the chart wizard or the chart engine in 2007 understands it pretty well now first off how do we select data that's not next to each other highlight the first chunk of data hold control and then click and drag over here now if we go to insert column here it understands uh, just fine that those should be labels set up to the left so that they are uh, Excel interprets it as labels. But now, I'm going to delete this chart. What happens if you have some data here and then a parallel set of data but up above? I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for column chart in 2007, Alt F1. Uh-oh. What happens is it interprets it as two different sets of data and it just gives it a default uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down here. Um, these are huge numbers. These are dates, which are serial numbers, which are, these are all in the 38,000. So what happened was it thought that these should be 38,000. I'm going to delete that right there, highlight just those columns, delete, and then you can see that the smaller numbers are revealed. Now we can edit this chart, go up to design and select data. The select data is in step two of chart wizard in earlier versions and it looks totally different than this one now the problem is we have um, our G set of data right there right but it's the horizontal axis that's a trouble so I click edit and then I simply highlight my dates and that will click OK and that will fix it there if the data is really way over here now another cool trick with uh, data if you set up a chart with a uh, simple uh, column like this and the labels in the right place. If you have data all over the place, you can simply highlight it. And in 2007, you have to copy it and then click on the chart and then paste it, control V, and it adds it. In earlier versions, it was totally awesome. You could click and then if you pointed to the edge like this, you see your move cursor, you could click and drag and the gray box would pop around this chart and th at that point you could let go and it would actually automatically be added. But that doesn't work anymore. That's a, I wish it did because I love that feature. Now, you can also have data sets that are smaller. So I'm going to control C, click on this chart and control V and then added it just there. So that's a few tricks about adding data from uh, wherever it may be to a chart. Let's see a different example here. We have uh, some labels up there and a time and three values. And I'm going to use my control and highlight this, and then control and highlight this, and then control and highlight this. Now I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, Alt F1. I'm just going to create a column chart. And it looks like it um, it got it just fine here. It, it interprets uh, the, the times over here, and it got the T's down here, which is just fine. Now. I want to make this a little bit bigger. And maybe make this access here, font size 20. Make this down here, font size 20. Uh, I'm going to click here and make this font size 20. And I'm going to, um, while this, with this selected, use the keyboard shortcut, Control 1. And then I'm going to place it at the top. In earlier versions, the dialog box looks different, but there's a, a section to move this wherever you want. Click. Uh, close there. So there we have that chart. That was made from non-contiguous data. That's a fancy word for data not next to each other. Now if we wanted to make a um, scatter diagram from data that's not next to each other, uh, we could construct it by hand if we wanted. You could actually go up to uh, insert uh, scatter and then click here and it comes up blank and then you would have to uh, in earlier versions go to step two and add the data manually here we'll go to design select data and we're gonna add and it asks for a series name I'm gonna click on this one then X's those are the X's and then Y's be sure that little e that little array right there you gotta highlight it and delete because it'll get in the way sometimes and then highlight this and then click OK 
and uh, that's not the chart type we want so I'm going to go up to design change chart type and then select this one right here and sure enough there is our data it seems like as you study more for tests you get a higher score so that's just a little bit about um, data that's not next to each other uh, and how to make charts. All right, we'll see you next trick.